say we need to have Punky Punky before we become exclusive. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Oh, 100%. Definitely. So important. Oh, 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 Exactly. Mm. Well, 
Hashtag crew live. <laughs> Still. Yeah. yeah. So here we are. So speaking of which, crew, crew life is kind of like, I don't know, like ups and downs mm -hmm. in terms of dating. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, there, yeah. Life. Have you guys ever dated like Kevin Crew Crew? No. Why no, not? No. Why not? I don't think it was easy to meet first of all Decent one? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well not a decent one, I think you know, it was hard to meet them afterwards because we meet oh, so yeah. many different people No, you meet a different set of crew every single time you fly Yeah, that's true And then you're working and mm. then you're tired and then you're trying to connect with yeah. them And obviously a lot of them don't like us Mm. in that way mm. so that they can be good friends in that way yeah. you know and then afterwards you have to pick out the ones that are that might like us in that way and yeah. <laughs> try and meet them after and yeah. match up your schedule the odds are not in our favor right? no like, like, crew is like 90 percent girls mm -hmm. 10 percent boys now that 10 percent Taken, taken, married, married. Don't like us in that way. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to find. Right. You know? yeah. 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 Although obviously, I mean, there's a lot of expats here, and mm. not saying I wasn't on Tinder and didn't right. swipe or anything yeah. like that. <laughs> Do you remember the guy from London? He's an attorney. Oh yeah. I, I kind of like dating him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, when I not met him, but like when we started dating mm -hmm. i was like oh i think i finally found a really good one. Oh, you know <laughs> and he's really smart of course yeah, yeah. and like gentle oh. and he's like he just did whatever i asked to do <laughs> okay mm. but i wasn't just sexually attracted by him right you know what i mean that's like, important yeah that's important super nice person like amazing personality mm -hmm. and like good looking mm. and masculine and like you know mm. yeah but <laughs> that's important. Yeah. Then, yeah. There's think, other things you can get over, but if you don't want to kiss them, that is something you can't get over. Maybe we dated a few times for uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. in like a, a month mm -hmm. or two months. Mm -hmm. And he walked me home and he was like, um, this uh, bottle of wine I got from <laughs> like Manchester, whatever. Yeah. And do you want to come over? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then he didn't. Oh, he knew. Yeah, yeah. he stopped. Yeah, yeah, he stopped texting me. Like, yeah, because I like cut the shit. I was mm. like, oh, no, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know what that feels like because I had a similar experience. I went out three dates with this guy. Yeah, but I think by the second, I kind of already knew. I know. And the third one, he dropped me home in the car. And he came in for the kiss, and then I was like. <laughs> You know, avoid the lips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then that gives a sign to them and you then also know yourself. Yeah. Okay, this is not the guy, right? right? Otherwise you want you should be wanting to like kiss their face. I like, know, I know. From the first day. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of questions would you ask on the first day to try and figure out? Ooh, oh no. <laughs> a good one. Maybe I just wanna know if he is Mm -hmm. Who would you meet on your last day? Uh -huh. Or like, what would you do on your last day? Uh, oh no, yeah. Ooh. What would you do on your last day on Earth? Yeah. Wow. That's a really good question. Yeah. yeah, because I'll be like saying like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, you know, be staying with my mom, mm -hmm. yeah, or just eating whatever my mom cooks, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna go down the show. What about you? Well, what did you ask your partner when you? Like him, or when you went on your first date. We didn't really ask any questions, but from the conversations that we're having, because he really likes to talk about his family and his upbringing, Aww. and he sounds like he's has such a very wholesome childhood, mm -hmm. like a wholesome like um, the way he was brought up, you know, and the, the relationship that he describes with parents. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. you know? Ooh. Like you know the way that. The interaction he talks about his mother, how he's his father, is like something that he wants. Yeah. You know, they're so different and they're so like loving in that way. I'm like, oh wow, mm. it's so nice to know. Do you think we need to have coffee party before we become this person? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Oh, one hundred percent. Definitely. So important. When, like, not first date for sure. No. Yeah. When the time feels okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, as long as it's the second day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think like no matter when it's okay yeah. because when you feel you're adults, yeah. you know. If like the passion of the night leads to oh, having yeah. sex, then you know. I don't think yeah. Problem with it. yeah. But I think that expectation is after you have sex, maybe not like we're gonna be exclusive. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Like, That's too heavy. Though. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think there's like a specific day or time that you can be like three days okay now i can yeah, 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 yeah. you know a lot of people have that yeah but what does it i know right on the third day or the fifth day mm -hmm. or the first day yeah it's yeah. not like scientifically proven yeah like you know what i mean like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> today <laughs> is right? a good day yeah. <laughs> I, I like screw him today yeah. and we'll be boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. tomorrow no it doesn't have that right when I became a comedian, like entertainer, mm -hmm. like I cut alcohol mm -hmm. and I cut, I didn't smoke, mm -hmm. but like I love shisha, right? Mm -hmm. So no smoke, mm -hmm. no alcohol, mm -hmm. no sex. No sex? Yeah. Wow. I don't know the sex too. Yeah. I get the other two. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to prioritize my own career. Okay. Then like, I get laid with somebody. My no concentration um, oh, is. Oh, 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 wait. Yeah. Is disrupted, yeah. so that's natural. But like when you have sex with a guy, I think then you're talking about then you're starting to get distracted yeah, by like him. And like, feelings. Is this a thing? Right, right, is this yeah. not a thing? And you start thinking about mm -hmm. him more. So I know. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Okay, that I get. But yeah. I, I like that. I think it takes a lot of self-discipline to say you need to cut things out. Mm. Yeah, and it's something I think is a work in progress for every single person. I yeah, to be like more self-disciplined. You know, because then you really like you're more efficient, you know, and you don't really like yeah. let yourself, mm -hmm. you know. So, then do you think that drinking is must on a first date? No, no. oh no. my god, that reminded me. Remember when you talk about like you know, one of your deal breakers in yeah. a relationship, and we said. Not drinking was one of our deal breakers. We both had that. Oh, yeah, it still, still kind of is. Okay, it still kind of is, but I don't mean like drink like you know, go crazy drinking. Yeah. I think like being able to enjoy a glass of wine with me when I want mm. that is important, mm. you know? Like when I went on a date with a guy here in Dubai, he ordered orange juice and just Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no offense. Like now I think back, I probably would have given him a second chance. Yeah. Like, now. Mm. But at that time I was kind of like, oh, me and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to be able to fit into my lifestyle? You know? Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. It's not about the drink. Is he gonna fit into mm, your life? life so, yeah. yeah. See, this has always been my thing. I don't understand why people like want to go have dinner on their first date. Mm. Like, you know, you can have dinner with your friends because you're so comfortable with each other well, so you're eating with them, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I hate having to eat in front of a complete stranger. Yeah. Like, it's so awkward and it makes me like kind of like pay attention to the way I eat. Yeah. I'm like, oh, do I normally eat like this? Yeah. Oh my god, this is really so chewy. How do, I, how do I eat this yeah. without looking mm. really weird? Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't like that at all. No. I just prefer it to be like really casual, that mm. way just chat, you know. Yeah, yeah coffee is pretty good. Yeah. 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 You just have the rest of the day. Yeah. You can keep it short. Right. Like, if it's I bad. Have, if it's bad, I'll be like, I have to have plans, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's such a good excuse. Yeah. yeah. Especially in Tinder, you do not bad, right? I mean, I guess it kind of developed that reputation. And then new apps come through nowadays, yeah. right? So many! So many. Yeah. And then each one is like, oh, this one is not a hookup app, it's more serious than Tinder. Yeah. Like, Tinder is like used as the base of like yeah. hookup apps. Yeah. I mean, so I have friends who got married through Tinder. Really? Even now. And I met my husband through a day. Oh, now, yeah. So. But it's what, I think it's still at the end of the day. Mm. You have to be open to these opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you mm. should go on some dates, try them out. Mm. Yeah, I probably just never say that now because you always eat your own words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 100%. Always. Yeah, always. Mm.